This podcast is brought to you by Black Out Loud Media Group. We have everything from news, tech, spoken word, comedy, and all talks of live fire cooking. We cover everything across the spectrum so you don't have to go anyplace else. Check out all of our shows, share, like, and subscribe. Available everywhere you listen to podcasts. What's up, everybody? This is Charlie Maverick. I am the owner and pit master at Maverick Barbecue. If you are in the Atlanta area and you need an event catered and you love barbecue, hit me up. www.maverickbbq.com. That is M A V E R I C B B Q.com. All right, so last time I checked, we were at the end of 2022, the year 2022. I'm sitting here last week and I'm watching something on TV and it brings up the whole like exchanging documents using fax machines. And I'm like, why the hell are we still using fax machines, man? In 2022? All right, let me tell you why this irritates me. Have you ever had to purchase a house? I hope you had the opportunity. It is a stressful situation, but the process ends and you got the keys <laughs> and everybody's happy. But depending on who you dealt with, you might have had to send documents via fax. All right, cool. Now, with all the technology that we got out here, why is this still a thing? Let me break this down for you. And Maybe you can tell me the rationale of why we still got this, because I don't get it. There's many times in the recent history that required someone to send a company a document to verify something that is probably like a legal document, financial document that has the social security number on it. And they say, hey, send it facts. Here's the fax number, and you're looking like, the hell? I got to jump through hoops? And I talked to my mom, and she recently is dealing with this, trying to get some stuff going with financial aid because she's going back to school. Hand clap for that, man. Proud of her for that. But I'm on the phone with her right after I see this thing on TV, and I'm like, mom, they make you send it through fax? All right, cool. So what do you have to do to go through the process of receiving a document that they have, <laughs> signing it, getting it back to them via fax? What the, what the hell? All right. First of all, before I get to that, before I get to that, let me tell you why it should be a thing just to send by email or something. I don't know. And I'll give you some ways to shorten your your time and effort to get somebody a document back via fax if they freaking require you to do it i don't even know why this is a thing so if you think about it from the security standpoint of whatever that's probably the least secure thing that you could do outside of just mailing it via the postal service right so you got this whole historic thing about bills with sensitive information all this material documents is sensitive information being sent via mail we got email that's been around for how many years now and all the information that we talk invoices receipts um just spam everything uh companies government exchange email sensitive things security right and we should be using this i was lucky Going through SunTrust, which is now Truist, freaking hate you guys, no matter what your name is, they 
how to send things via email, a secure email. They send an email that has a link there. You have to go through a couple of clicks and you got to remember blah, blah, blah steps to go through and improve that you are the person. It's like two factor in a case. You got to log into a secure portal, right? All right. So you go in here and then you can read the documents, download the documents and upload the documents. Perfect, right? That made sense. Good job. If you do one thing in life correctly, SunTrust now truest, you do that. Thank you. Okay. Probably Quicken Loans do the same thing. I'm pretty sure they do. So if you had that experience, great. Everybody else out here, why are we doing the whole fax machine thing? Send it through email. You can lock it down securely as you want to, or you're able to. You can encrypt a link. Tell the person that you're sending them a link. <laughs> just don't, hey, just don't click on the email. Be like, oh, I trust them. <clears throat> and then you got a virus. No, if you're going to converse anyway, you know what to expect, right? I deal with businesses because I do, you know, product reviews and stuff sometimes. And everything is exchanged via email. There's a secure portal that you can, or you can lock down a dog just like you do at work. Or you can say, who can access this, no matter if you have the link or not, or anybody that has this link can get it, or you have to put in some type of password. It's still password protected, right? You can upload documents to a repository, a cloud drive, whatever you want to call it. That is as secure as you're going to freaking get. Um, <laughs> this, this levels to this shit, but still, you have shortened your time and effort. You can probably do all this from your phone, right? But let me tell you about the old school way and why this is still happening, how it still goes on. All right. So let's say I'll use, I'll use the example of financial aid or whatever. That's it. It's a stupid way. All right. So the company says, all right, we're going to send you out a letter via, you know, postal service. It's going to take about three to five days to get to you. I need you to sign this and return it to us via fax. Hopefully to give you option for email, but if they don't, you got to do it via fax. All right, this is, this is, this is how it's going to go. Cause who has a fax machine in their house? Y'all guys probably got like a, a all in one printer and stuff like that, that may send faxes to good for you, but still come on, man. Why, why do we still do have to do this? All right. So you still got to take a couple of steps. You got to wait for the mail to get here. You got to go get the mail. You got to physically get the mail. Again, this is 2022. Technology, man. You open it up. I don't know how many people hands this passed through. Luckily, they didn't care enough to just open it. Sometimes you don't get the mail. Like <clears throat> my voting registration type of like, hey, I want to I want to get an absentee ballot. They say they never got it. I don't trust the postal service no more. Hey. Have you ever lost the Amazon package? They deliver it to the wrong person. Then they open it. I have opened people's packages, people. I've I've done that unknowingly. And this has happened for a while because they just sent it to the wrong address. And I'm expecting it to be mine. I open a box and I see what another person's supposed to have. Now I'm all up in this shit. I didn't mean to. <laughs> now I know that you're taking this. Oops. So I see you. It's an awkward look now. Oh, I don't know you like that. All right. So it's very, very very, very not secure. So, all right, you open this thing, you go ahead and sign it. That's the easy part. Go ahead and physically sign it with a pen, whatever you want to do. Okay. And then you got to figure out how to send this back to them via fax. Here's a couple of options. I mentioned one earlier. You probably, maybe, hopefully, best case scenario, you have an all-in-one printer that is connected to a telephone line that you may pay through your cable service because who has hardwired freaking phone service anymore unless you're in the house that was built um it had to be pre-2010 i'm thinking that and even if so when you connect phone service these days they're not going to connect it the way you think you got to do it through your cell phone your um maybe your cell phone carrier they may offer that because they do in-home internet or you might go through your cable company that's how it is, man. Look, all right. Best case scenario, but you got to take another step. You got to scan it in that all in one and hopefully it just faxes it away. 
but it's still not secure because when it gets over to the other side, I don't know if this goes to like one person's desk. You ever worked in an office and you received the fax before? I've I've done that. I worked in a collections department for Direct TV, and if you made a lot of like insufficient fund payments or you wrote bad checks or you charge back on your car too much, you have to send something over via fax after you take your happy butt <laughs> over to like this local pay station where you have to physically give them money and say hey can you send this proof over here and we turn you back on <laughs> that who was who all was looking at that i know there's people walking around the, the fax machine at my job you know even now they're like that's not secure you have you ever printed something to the wrong printer in the office and it was like kind of personal you're like damn i gotta go run and get it before somebody does then eh, there's a 50 50 chance that could be the time where somebody was waiting on a job to print and damn they saw at least the front page now this is gonna be awkward look you see what i'm saying <laughs> So even if you got that that set up at your house to take care of that easy like transition, that's still not secure, man. Oh, come on. Tell me, tell me what's why are we still doing this? Why are we still doing this? Trump over here talking about mail in ballots and security. Hey, he got a point, but <laughs> what are we gonna do with that? We got no better option with that. But let me tell you, fax machine shouldn't be a thing. Shouldn't be a thing. Have you ever had a fax machine back at a traditional fax machine? As you have to you have to do a couple of things. And you and you have these equipment in place just to fulfill random requests that people make you do is jump through hoops. Or dang, let's go to the point where you don't have the the printer that is had the capability of of going through and and scanning it and then you freaking got to you got to you send it. You got to go to someplace like, I don't know, the UPS store. Is there still FedEx Kinko's? I don't know why this is a thing. You got to go there and then you got to take your whatever jump drive that you have with the document on there. So this, this is the dumb stuff, man. I'm still, this is dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> Hopefully you have a printer to print this out. You already, they sent it, they signed it. Maybe they email it to you, you had to print it out, whatever. I'm, I'm going to give you options. There's a whole bunch of shit flowing around my mind right now. Regardless of it, what if you had to go to another location, give them money to send a fax? Because they ain't going to send it for free. Nah, man, they ain't going to do that. All right. So you, you're already irritated. This is bad customer support. Like, this is a bad customer experience. What do you not want to do with your life? that you can otherwise do with a cell phone. People still maybe want to go out and pick up their food just for the sake they don't trust the human element of food delivery so they don't use food order apps. I get that. I get it. I totally get that. But this situation should not require you to leave the damn house <laughs> or pull out some equipment that you were like ah i gotta figure out how to do this all right cool so the other one is you're sending the stuff back to them and you gotta pay money what there's a cost associated just because you felt that it, the need to send this thing to me email i had to physically sign it and dang i gotta i gotta fork up money to send it back that's like shipping and handling you say i'm being a cheapskate i i i say you're wrong I say there's some a-holes for making you do this. <laughs> you shouldn't have to pay to return a document to anybody. This should be free. This should be free. You hear me out there, people? Should be free for that reason. I don't know, man. Email will take care of all of that. There's, a, you got to pay for the, the the data storage on the servers and the transition, the feeding back and forth, and all that. That's fine. That's baked into your monthly costs anyway. That doesn't cost you any extra. So we here, and you, you, and you're gonna tell somebody that you had to do this. What do you gotta do? Well, I gotta go send a fax. They go laughing like, "Damn, why you guys go send a fax?" They go automatically be like, "Are you buying a house?" Now you put my shit. Now, <laughs> oh man, it's crazy. Why do we still do this? Why? Why? All right, 
I'm off of that soapbox. Let me tell you how you make life easier on yourself. Let's say you don't have a printer at home that has the faxing capabilities and the a-holes still send you stuff through the mail or email. Let's take it both ways because if they send it through email and let's say you have a fax machine, blah, 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 you're going to have to print it out because they're going to email it to you, right? So you, you have to use ink. Hopefully you have ink not dry in your printer. See what I'm saying? All right. This is what you do. Let's say you get the thing via email. All right. Great. You have to sign it and fax it back to them because they require you to. All right. Cool. I got you. Now, this is what you do. You go into your app store on your smartphone, tablet, and then you look for fax plus F A X P L U S. You download that and then you're going to use your cell phone as a fax machine. When you say this to people, you're like, dang, is that an option? Yes. Glory to God. There's an option. <laughs> now there is a cost associated with some of these. I suggest that you, you use the one that you have to like give a certain amount of money for this many pages to send. And the cool thing about Fax Plus is you can receive faxes too. If you got this company that's like, hey, I want to send it via fax to you. Why do you do that? Why do you assume that? Why is that you why is that option coming out of your mouth? That should be a fallback option for me. Uh I'll have an email. Oh uh everything's news to the PO box. Uh yeah. Yeah. I can get fax on my phone. At that point, they should be like, oh, I'll just send it via email. <laughs> No, no, man. <laughs> All right, so download Fax Plus. Get in your username, blah, blah, blah. I usually would request you to do it with a sign-in that's connected to your email, your main secure email. Don't try to use a all-new username password for this. Also, when you try to get the credits for this, use Apple pay or google pay samsung pay if it applies to you okay you pay for whatever many pages it could be like 2.99 for 10 pages something like that it's going to cost you less to do this than even if you felt like going to ups or blah, blah blah and you need to send 10 pages it's going to cost you more trust me i know i had to do this what late last year for something it keeps coming up it's still annoying to me Ah, that's why I have to have this talk because I know you're going through the shit too. All right. So you have Fax Plus. You pay for these many pages. Also, what it lets you do is use your phone camera, that nice phone camera that you like to take movies with, family photos with, go on, I don't know, Facebook Live. You're all over IG with the thing. It has a great camera. What can it do? It's good for copying stuff. It's good for scanning. Man, look, this is great. Use your phone as a scanner, but don't use your phone camera. Use this dedicated app. This let's say, let's say you don't want to use Fax Plus, and you already have a an idea of an app that you want to use, like all in one, but you know lets you store blah blah file things away. There is Cam Scanner on both smartphone platforms that'll let you scan just like a scanner, just like a scanner. Let you edit the thing. Let you just the brightness and, and, the, and the color tones and all that let you crop things in the way that you want it hassle free you can back it up on your google drive your your OneDrive, your your your, your, your icloud you can do all that and then you can you can pay whatever premium that you want to have it faxed via that app whatever you want to do but fax plus lets you scan the app because you, you're gonna need the fax right so it's going to use your phone camera to scan the app. It's going to prompt you to do front back if you want it. Let you put in a number. Let you save to your contacts number just in case. It's like I need to send this again, so you don't have to keep copying the thing over, right? The cool thing is it gives you a status of how many pages it sent, how long it's taking, if it actually is going through a confirmation photo and all that. It's great. And what you have to do, you didn't have to even 
leave your house. You, know, you didn't have to. <laughs> That's just with the with the mail. All right. Now, how how what what do you gotta do if you need to sign it? So, Charlie, you're late. You skip the printing out if you send it via email. I got you covered. I got you covered, dog. DocuSign has been around for a l over a decade. Over a decade. I used to use DocuSign way back in the day. So download DocuSign if you need to, you know, have the doc, sign it, and then, you know, send it right over to the whole, um, you can send it right over to the company and then, hey, use the fax app still. Because what it does with the DocuSign, it lets it download back to your device as a, maybe a PDF or something kind of secure somebody sends you a pdf via email it's probably pretty secure you can put security on that if you want to there's levels to the shit i'm trying to get you there send it over to them via whatever faxing app that you want to use and you didn't have to use a pen you had everything passed through your phone right cool now if they if they did send it to you via email that's cool. If they send it via mail, you already got that covered. You know why? Because the faxing app already does that for you. You can sign it with your hand. You can send it over to them via the fax app. And then all is covered. All right. But why, people, do we have to go through this? I don't understand the logic. It is so deniable. Why are we subjecting people to lower security options just because we have legacy processes who is maintaining these freaking fax machines with the toner on it that's it's an expense for you too man i don't get that then you have this physical thing which is very insecure everybody can walk past it hey you know those more logo documents they shouldn't have been physical documents in the first effing place why are we still doing that? <laughs> it's like, you need physical backups, Charlie. Yeah, I know. But hear me out. They should have never been given to a person to look at. That should have been always housed in a vault that nobody can get to just in case all the data gets corrupted and somebody needs to find the hard copy. Fine. They do it with everything else that's super, super suited for needed to be secure. There's companies that have been operating for over decades and ain't had to worry about hard copy stuff because stuff burns down. And even if your servers, the, the server building burns down, blows up, whatever, it's stored somewhere where you can retrieve it. There's always copies made somewhere, man. Listen to me. Listen to me. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? I know what they're going to say. Charlie, you, you're taking away one of those things where, you know, that whole process of getting it to blah, blah, blah takes, you know, maybe the postal service out. Like, hey, you know what? We're going to get to a point. I don't want you to send me anything via mail unless I ordered it via Amazon. And it and it cannot, <laughs> it cannot like transport instantly to me via whatever super cool science fiction device that we you know, we get to one day, you know, the whole Star Trek thing, like put over here. <clears throat> oh, I got it. Great. I don't, why are we still sending stuff via? I'm sorry, Postal Service, but y'all can transition to just like FedEx and UPS and DHL. Why are we sending letters still? Promotional material, junk mail. Why are y'all wasting your money on this? I know the, I know the data says, we still get a large demographic of blah, blah, blah people. Um, and it turns into conversion of sale because we still send them hard copies of coupons and blah, blah, blah. And I say to you, no, we don't need that anymore. You make us transition to anything that you want, whenever you want, as that whole top down hierarchy of power in the universe <laughs> why not this why i got now i got this is a whole thing now it is a transition i know what y'all trying to do y'all doing this for the trash bag industry <laughs> you keep a physical copy stuff making this past stuff via fax because you got two pieces 
you got you got two pieces of the same thing at two different parts of the world and they have to maintain that somewhere or throw it in the trash whenever are they probably going to, man look they're probably going to scan the thing and upload it anyway to to the cloud server now we got to throw the thing away now you got paper shredders i get it i get it it's a trickle down it's a trickle down you probably got lobbies somewhere saying all right don't take this away keep, keep there's somebody out there that says keep those fax machines processes intact for business maybe it's epson maybe it's hp hp makes a lot of money y'all think hp make a lot of their money on computers now that's corporate stuff they corporate uh, they make yeah good sales of that but hey people need computer they need printers still i don't know why we need printers i don't know i don't know we we still got printers though People like to physically write on stuff. I know. You're like, all right, Charlie, how am I going to um, uh, write on stuff? Look, how many how many times do you need to sign your name? You can write on anything whenever you want. There's still going to be paper. I'm just saying, why are we sending stuff via the mail, freaking through a hard copy of such? I don't know. If you want to send it via mail, do this for me. Do this for me if you want to send it via, send it via mail encrypt a jump drive send it in the envelope give it to me and i'll do whatever i shall with it you still get to send stuff via mail look we can adjust these processes just get rid of the damn fax machine for f sakes do that for me i don't know who enjoys the whole thing of going to a fax machine and doing all this crap even if you have to do it via your phone it's still irritating still irritating man i'm sorry but i know you think a little extra right now but there's gonna be that time soon that karma comes back around to you and you're gonna have to go somewhere and send that fax i tried to help you lessen your your anger your frustration to the whole situation and you'd be like i don't want to be here no more at least you could do it through your cell phone. You're welcome. <laughs> we gonna get through this together, man. We gonna get through this together. One day we shall get through this together. So I will continue to give you tech tips to make your life better as much as possible. But these companies still forcing you to do stupid stuff. I hope you don't have like a friend or a relative that's sending you faxes and stuff like that. You need to disown them. Until they do better. Because that's some dumb shit. It should only become governments. Look, the infrastructure. And this whole like huge amount of bill money that's going out. The restructuring, the infrastructure and all this. And the tech side of it. Get rid of fax machines. Do that. Good job, Biden. Gotta say good job, man. You had a month to remember. Let's keep that, let's keep that thing going. And get rid of these goddamn fax machines. Shout out to Atlanta, yeah, city that pays me. Relax yourself, let your conscience be free, you're now rolling with a dude named M.A.V. Relax yourself, let your conscience be free, you're now rolling with a dude named M.A.V. Relax yourself, let your conscience be free, you're now rolling with a dude named M.A.V. Relax yourself, let your conscience be free, you're now rolling with a dude named M.A.V. I'm killing the flow, didn't you know? Let your tongue be free, you now rolling with a dude named